Have you heard about the concept of classical conditioning? Well, if not, classical conditioning is a psychological concept of associative learning where the presentation of one stimulus leads to the same response even if the stimulus is present or not. And you know what? Marketers have been using this concept of classical conditioning in order to create an association between the brands and the customer. How? I'll tell you. So the experiment was conducted by Pavlov wherein he presented the food to the dog and the dog used to salivate. However, before the presentation of food every time a bell was rung. Now the brain of the dog got so accustomed to the sound of the bell preceding the presentation of the food such that even if the food was presented or not, just alone by the sound of the bell, the dog began salivating. And this is being used by the brands as well. Do you know how? Let's have a look. So what would you think of when you see this slogan? I'm loving it. Similarly, which brand would you think of if you see this one? Open happiness. I think you've got your answers right. One talks about McDonald's and the other one talks about Coca-Cola. And that is the classical conditioning that have already been done to our brains by the brands by using this concept of classical conditioning. So the brand logos and the jingles that are used by the marketers creates an impression in our brain of the brand whenever we see them around. There's another way marketers are actually building up their brand identity to classical conditioning, for example, by showing the contextual images. So whenever a resort that offers vacation experiences to the consumers have to brand their experience or service to the consumers, they might use images of people relaxing, having parties, so that that evokes the emotions of enjoyment and happiness. And that's exactly how classical conditioning works in the marketing world. So use the psychological principle and see how you can persuade your consumers and influence their purchase decisions.